everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone, so today I have Brianna with me, and Brianna is the Tobias Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles, and she was reborn by Emma Bennett. And Brianna is going to be twinning today with her twin sister Noah over at Anne May's lovely place, and the, the channel owner is Annette. And so Annette um, is going to be doing a uh, twinning video today as well. And we're going to try to coordinate our videos to go up somewhat um, together, but we'll see, won't we, Annette? Uh, anyway, let me show you the beautiful dress that um, our dear friend Claudia Tronka sent for us to twin in. And this is a mayoral dress. And um, so the, this dress is uh, slightly different from the one that was sent to, um, to Annette. Um, she, you know, they couldn't find the very same um, um, pattern um, to send to send to Belgium, but um, they did send this particular pattern to me here in the United States. And um, it, if you can see, it's a very pretty um, dress with roses and flowers all over it. It's got a couple of layers to it, and then it's got this nice little. Uh, linen slip underneath the fabric does feel like like a linen or a light a light cotton It's just gorgeous. And then of course, it's got this uh, pretty little bow with a, a pearl-esque uh, button and um, It is um, it's a mayoral and so Claudia, thank you so much um, It was really really sweet of you to send um, to send these pretty dresses and so this dress has these beautiful uh, pearl buttons um, that says, uh, each button says mayoral on it. And they're, um, there's, let's see, how many buttons? There's one, two, three, five, there's five buttons all the way down. So it's gonna be a really easy dress to put on little Brianna today. But before we do that, and before I show you the accessories, I wanted to show you um, the rest of the dresses that were sent um, to us. Apparently what happened, um, if I got this straight, um, Claudia, you're going to have to let me know. Apparently what happened was she originally uh, sent uh, to both Annette and me um, a, a, a mayoral dress. And um, apparently uh, for some reason the dress has never arrived. And so um, the, um, the place where she bought them instead um, they sent they ditch they dispatched another mayoral dress and in the meantime they they sent um, to both of us these lovely um, dresses to replace the dress that was lost in the mail and so um, Annette and I both have different types of dresses but um, they're still both um, you know both of our dresses are just beautiful and this is the first time that I'm taking a look at it um, in detail and it's got all these nice um, tucks like a Sarah Louise dress <clears throat> but it is actually a um, a hope a hope and Henry dress oh that's nice it's a hope and Henry dress it's got this beautiful um, bow in the back a white bow it's a um, it's a like a, a white background and this also has some pretty flowers and fernery um, in the pattern. So that is really, really pretty. And it's a size zero to three months. All of the dresses are size zero to three months, which will fit, well, all, all with the exception of one, and I'll show you that one. It's a three to six months, but isn't that a pretty dress? It's got this little slip underneath. Really, really pretty. I like that one. And then the next dress is, uh, let's see, is this, this one is the, um, zero to three months as well. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I didn't, well, I wanted to wait and open these um, on camera because um, I, I think that's just so much fun to do it like that. Okay, oh, this is very, very pretty. Oh, it's a romper. Oh, it's a romper, you guys. Um, I thought it was a dress, but it's a romper. It's just so fancy for a romper, but it's also got the uh, gorgeous tucking 
right here and it's um, actually looks like uh, embroidery thread that is gorgeous and then it's got um, coordinating embroidery on the collar too of uh, roses it looks like or some type of uh, real pretty flower that is just gorgeous i love that oh my goodness i didn't know rompers came this fancy oh i love it and then the white collar is so pretty it just sets everything off that is just adorable and um see i'm trying to see oh it's a um well there it is <laughs> carrie pier I'm not sure how to really pronounce that, but um, anyway, that is that is ador adorable, and I think that's going to look really good on her, too. And then last but not least, um, I, I thought this one was the romper, but I'm not sure now. Um, let's see here. This is the size three to six months, I believe. And I'll go ahead and open this one up. see here and it looks like it comes with some little bloomers oh that is this is really really sweet you guys now this is not a romper it's a two-piece and um, this is the size three to six months and when I saw this um, you know just the um, the pattern here I thought it would be just perfect for one of my big girls to wear for the fourth of July here in the US and so um, that is super super neat Look, all of the dresses have this really nice tucking, and I love that. I love that tucking. Um, it's seersucker fabric, and um, it's just so perfect, so perfect for the summertime. And then here's the little, uh, the little bloomers. They have a little ruffle, a little elasticized legging, uh, leg line with a ruffle. So that is going to look really, really cute on one of my big, bigger girls. Yeah, I have several three to six months girls that so that's going to look just adorable on. So, um, Claudia, thank you so much for all of those dresses and the, and the, the romper. I'm just um, really overwhelmed with all of your kindness that you always show us um, here and uh, show me and my babies. So, um, anyway, let me show you um, the rest of the accessories that are going to be uh, going on Brianna. And um, let me go ahead and get them here, take them off the table. I had everything all organized. So underneath, she's going to be wearing this um, sleeveless onesie. She's full arms and full legs. And um, it's, I thought it would go really good underneath this light pink, uh, light pink dress. And this has a pattern of giraffes and elephants on it and little flowers. And then it's got this real pretty lace um around the edges and just in case the lace might show up um, around the neckline i thought that might go really good and then um so the shoes and socks these are the cute little shoes and you probably can't tell but they're a very very light pink beautifully um uh, they have this beautiful um uh, like crochet detailing and then on each side it has this real pretty flower little pink flowers and they're velcro closures and then i wanted to put because it's a mayoral dress i wanted to put some real fancy socks on too and um these are very very light pink socks with um a real pretty uh like a uh, organza ruffle all the way around so yeah, those are gonna look real pretty underneath those shoes. And then she's gonna be wearing this light pink bow. I think it'll look really darling in her hair. And then last but not least, because the dress has roses, pink roses, I thought these would be just perfect for her. So yeah, because she's got those um, pierced ears. I almost just left the pearls in because pearls are so elegant with uh, fancy dresses, but um, I decided that the, that the um, I thought the roses would look really, really pretty too. So we're going to go with the roses today. So she's also got the uh, ballerina bunny that Auntie Claudia sent to my girls. Um, I think that if I remember right, um, uh, Claudia sent this bunny for me, um, but I've been sharing it with the girls and all the girls have been sharing it too. And it's one of those um, really adorable crochet bunnies. It's got an attached um, crochet skirt 
and then these little um, these little toe shoes. I just love these little crochet uh, animals. Super cute. But we'll go, we'll go ahead and put her aside and we'll turn Brianna around and we'll have a little chat about what's been going on around here. Um, let me see if I can, I'm gonna bring the smaller pillow down here and uh, I'll put my Susie Q pillow down there. Where, what did I, oh, is it right here? Yeah, let me get my smaller pillow. I like this pillow, it's like nice and fluffy. I think the babies seem much more comfortable on a nice fluffy pillow. So we'll readjust the camera. So you can see all my crochet animals back here. That's my little collection that Auntie Claudia sent me. Yeah, once in a while I change out my back my background back there just to, to make it interesting for you all. I'm still trying to adjust. I mean, okay, let's turn her beautiful face this way so she can see all her aunties and uncles. So she is wearing an outfit that Auntie Carrie um, of Carrie's Little Cuties had sent quite a while ago um, to twin our two Saskia girls. And, um, you know, Saskia, my Saskia girl, um, Princess Chrissy, she's a zero to three months size, just like this, uh, just like Brianna here. And so um, I decided to put this on her. Uh, one day because it was I believe it was around the winter time or maybe in November or something And I thought it would be just you know really a neat um, outfit for her to wear and coincidentally I you know um, I am going to be talking about deer today part of my little chat is going to be about deer and look at this um, beautiful Cute little deer. It's embroidered. It's embroidered on to her onesie and it's got some little flowers and stuff. And um, I, it's so coincidental because I, you know, um, I had forgotten that she was wearing this. And then uh, let me tell you what happened this morning um, outside my living room front window. <laughs> anyway, um, I was getting ready this morning. I was getting ready to take Jenny, my dog, out for a walk. Jenny was... Um, so I was getting my, you know, I had to have to get my boots on and, you know, there's this whole, whole ordeal, right? Well, while I was getting my boots on, um, Jenny was at the front window and she was uh, really excited about something and she was whining and like she saw something. So she piqued my interest and I thought, oh, I better go take a look, you know. Be, um, so I looked out the window too and lo and behold, I saw, um, I saw a deer, a doe. And she was a big girl, and um, she was in the property, um, the property next door. She was uh, just standing there, and in the tall, tall hay field that they have. And um, I thought, oh my goodness, that's what she's, um, you know, that's what Jenny's so excited about because you know she's a critter dog, and she just goes for everything. So, um, but at the same time, I thought. You know that gra that hay field is really really tall. It's at least probably I, I'm guessing three feet tall. Um, no one has mowed mowed the hay field yet, and so it's super super tall. And um, that's the type of environment that mama deers like to give birth to their babies in. And I and I happened to think that, and I thought, oh, I wonder if she has. Um, a baby, you know, a baby with her. So then I waited for a while and um, I didn't see anything and Jenny wanted to go outside. So I decided, well, she it doesn't look like, you know, she has a baby with her. It looks like she's just maybe standing there eating, you know, eating the hay. Well, so I got, um, you know, Jenny all leashed up and, but I put her, um, her um, chain leash on because I knew that if the deer was still there that I'd have to really subdue Jenny from trying to run away and get the deer. <laughs> so I put her chain, her chain um, leash on and um, we went outside and the deer, the mama deer was just, you know, she was just standing there. And then, um, then I saw the grass wiggle a little bit way behind her. And um, then I saw it wiggle again, and then she saw us, and I kind of wanted to scare her so that Jenny, I wouldn't have to deal with Jenny's um, 
trying to get away from me and, and, you know, get to them. So I managed to um, scare her away. She ran and um, lo and behold, I saw the grass moving behind her and um, it was uh, this little deer, this little baby fawn had stood up and was walking slowly towards where its mom had run, you know. And uh, I thought, oh my goodness, I know what was going on there. The, the mama deer was standing there while the baby was, was nursing. And I thought, oh my goodness sakes, uh, you know, that's a really rare thing to see. And, um, and I, you know, it, everything happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to, um, you know, to get it on my, my video. And I couldn't have because Jenny was just too, way too excited about seeing them, you know. But anyway, um, so that was really a, a really awesome chance happening. I really enjoyed seeing that. And don't worry about the baby because what happens is um, the mama deer is always going to run away from the baby if she senses danger. She wants to attract attention to herself and away from the baby. And so um, I, I guarantee you that they are together right now. So don't worry about the baby getting lost. Um, in fact, I saw the baby, the baby can sense, scent the mom, uh, the mom's path. And so the baby was taking the exact same path, um, was walking the exact same path that the mama was, you know, had taken. So I am not one bit worried. And you know me, I'm a, I would worry about something like that. So, um, but anyway, uh, so I missed that photo opportunity, but a couple of years ago, uh, my husband was weed eating uh, up on a, up on the hill on our property, and uh, he happened to spot a, a brand new fawn that had just been born that that night before. You know, you can always tell um, how how young they are. And so uh, he came and got me, and I and I ran over with my my camera, and I took video of it. And so I really want to show you the video. For those of you that have been with me on my channel for a long time, you'll remember this video. Um, but um, for those of you who are brand new, it'll be your first time to see um, a brand new baby fawn um, that was that the mom had hidden in the tall grass and so i'm going to go ahead and pop that in right now for it's you so amazing just to come upon nature like that and uh, my husband was it, it was really fortunate that he he has really super good eyes and um so he he happened to spot the little baby in the tall grass now that was in his his direct path of weed eating and um had he not spotted that that um that baby, it would not have turned out very well, you guys. It was, would have been horrible, but um, but he did. He's got these awesomely, you know, good eyes, and uh, he's always he he's a gut type of person that is always paying attention to details. And so, fortunately for that baby, um, uh, you know, he he saw it in time. And so, yeah, he came and got me. He always comes to get me. Um, or brings something to me in the way of, uh, you know, animals and stuff. Um, so many, so many things has happened on our property that he's shared with me. And I'm just really grateful that, um, you know, that he's out and about on the property like he is and, and, um, has, has shared so many neat things with me. Uh, the other day, uh, he, it was in the, forget what time of day it was. Oh, I know it was in the evening because it was dinner time. And he was telling me about, um, he had seen this duck. He said, I saw this duck, um, swimming in the, uh, in the Creek. And it looked, and he said, it looked really big, like a big, huge, fluffy duck. And, um, he said, he kept saying, I wondered what kind of a duck it was because I'd never seen a big duck like that. Well, lo and behold, um, when he got closer and, and got a closer uh, glance at, at the duck, it was a mama duck that had, he said he, he counted at least eight babies that were riding on the, on the mama's back. <laughs> and I go, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so, oh, I wish I would have seen that, you know, it sounds so cute and, and everything. And he said, yeah, it was really amazing, you know, and, uh, 
So yeah, they're riding on the on the mama's back, and uh, I think if I remember right, as the story goes, that the uh, the mom the mom uh, all of a sudden the baby started hopping off of the mama's back, and that's when he realized. Uh, that's another time that he realized that um, you know it wasn't a big fat ducky; it was it was babies. On um, it was the mom, you know, teaching her babies how to swim. So um, anyway, um, uh, the next day, I believe it was the next day, uh, I happened to be out and about and I was near the creek and I saw that mama duck um, with all of her babies and I counted each one and there was more than eight. There was 10, you guys, 10 babies. They were not on her back anymore they were swimming around so uh, mama taught him how you know mama took him out and kicked him off the, her back and, sink, and gave him the sink or swim <laughs> command and they did uh, they ended up swimming so i mean the other day i was telling you about um here on our property that you never know what kind of nature you're going to run into you just don't we just don't never e ever know uh it's always a nice surprise though you know and um, I love the surprises that we get here. But look at how cute these shoes are. And, you know, um, her sculpt is such a adorable sculpt. She's got one bent leg, and she's got one straight leg, and she's got these adorable little um, pudgy legs. And uh, she is just the cutest. She is just the cutest. And, um, yeah, Noah over at uh, Annette's Nursery, uh, she's a beautiful little girl too, and uh, you'll see. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be posting a picture of, of these two together. Um, we're gonna be emailing me and Annette are gonna be emailing pictures back and forth, and so I'm gonna be posting a picture of her Noah um, along with Brianna, so that you can see both of them together. But let me um, go ahead and sit her up, so, and I'll go, and I'll adjust the camera too. So yeah, I thought maybe the lace might show up around the top, and it just barely does, but um, but it's pretty. It's pretty pink lace, you know. And I'm going to bring up my Suzy Q pillow. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. From my dear friend, Auntie Claudia. I use this pillow all the time. It has come in so handy uh, with sitting my my babies up my toddlers and stuff but um yeah let me readjust here and um i'll get my comb and comb her hair she's got human hair it's kind of like a um a blonde with red kind of red highlights maybe there's all kinds of different colors of blonde in her hair in her hair really really pretty and then I really want uh, want to leave this braid in her hair. I like I like her hair like that. I think that that just um, adds a little bit of um, you know decoration to her hair. Now we'll go ahead and put this big pink bow on. I thought she looked really cute with a big bow like that. She looks darling with a big bow. Yes, she does. And then let's put her earrings in. Here's her earrings. So yeah, um, you know, it's really, really neat. neat. Uh, there's pros and cons to living in the country, you know, lots of pros, um, some cons, you know, it's, it's um, a lot of, a lot of hard work. And, but there's a lot of fun that happens too, like the, the wild animals. If you're, if you're interested in seeing, um, you know, the, the wild animals that come, the forest animals that come on the property at times. So, I mean, we do have problems too. We have um, raccoons that'll get into the kitty barn and um, eat their food and, um, you know, stuff like that. But um, I, I think we're past that phase now. I don't think we're gonna have raccoons in the kitty barn anymore, but we've, we've recently had problems with raccoon, a um, couple of raccoons that are getting into our barbecue uh, our, our, well, it's a, it's an outdoor barbecue and they get into the tray where all the uh, chicken drippings are 
and they like to pull the tray out and make a big mess. So um, we have issues there with raccoons. So, you know, like I said, there's pros and cons to living out in the country. But um, anyway, let me show you this little girl. There she is. Isn't she gorgeous? And her dress, I'll lift her up so that you can see. There she is. I'm tr trying not to hit my microphone. <laughs> You know, I'm, fam I'm famous for that. There she is. There's that happy little girl. And she has the, the prettiest eyes. I'll bring her up close so that you can see. Um, she's got the prettiest eyes and the prettiest eyebrows. Sometimes it's hard to see with that gor those gorgeous bangs. But, um, yeah, she's a pretty little girl. So I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put up some uh, pictures of uh noah and um you know uh, we'll put them well i'll put them side by side like this and uh, i'm going to try to put noah right here in this area so that um you can see um the two girls wearing their very fancy pretty uh mayoral dresses that were gifted to them especially by their auntie claudia Okay, so everyone, um, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed today's video and seeing our twinning video and all of our and all of my um, um, happy mail from Auntie Claudia. And Claudia, thank you so much for being so kind to us. Uh, we really appreciate you. Um, have a wonderful rest of your week. And until we meet again, bye bye from me, Brianna, Noah, and Annette. Bye bye.